I think the alternative is to look at your tax codes. Find out the reasons why companies don't want to come here because we can't simply say, well, we have to do it because other states do it. There are states that get companies without incentives. New York and Arizona re revisiting their incentives and looking and saying maybe this isn't such a good idea. All of the economic studies done to date, every single one of them show that any economic um, help that these incentives provide is very, very short-lived at all best, meaning it doesn't really help, it hasn't really helped, and there's no evidence to suggest that incentives make the difference. What we're, we're missing oftentimes is we see committees that are dominated by economic development types that say, hey, we need to give away more money. The first thing I w wish that they would look at would be to look at the local funding of incentives. If they would stop counties and cities from being a part of that game, then cities and counties would focus on providing better schools, better roads, and lower crime, which are the keys to economic development. So if you have your local governments focusing on those three pillars and at least get the locals out of the incentive game, then the state can actually focus on its own incentive programs to see if they have validity, if they're good, means test those, and see if there's alternative ways to do things like that.